Sidekicking here, and today we are making Lego gummy candies. We got these Lego molds off of Amazon. We have these, and you need unflavored gelatin. You could find um, four packs, four packages at your Walmart or any store. Then um, we got two, and you only need two packages for one. Um, thing. Then we got different colors of Jello for the for what flavor. So let's get started. What else do you need? Oh yeah, and you also need corn syrup and that's about it. And if you want to, um, if you want to make your Lego gummies connectable, get um. Legos and brush them with vegetable oil and then you could put them on top with a heavy book and it'll make them connectable. And um, I saw this tutorial on Grant Thompson and he does a bunch of science stuff and all that so go check out his channel and let's get started. Um, you're gonna take your corn syrup and you want to have um, half a cup of water. And then you want to take water. cold water and um, you want to take your corn syrup and fill it up to the three-fourth mark. Alright, and we're at the three-fourth mark. So, now you take this, and you pour it in here, right? And you pour it in your pan. Oh, wait, there's one other step. You have to stir your, um, you have to stir this until all the Cairo syrup is out. So, your spatula. I'm gonna use the spatula. We're gonna stir this until the water's completely clear. We just got done stirring it. So now, we want to go ahead and uh, um, take this now and pour it in. Then you want to take your two packets of unflavored gelatin. I'm going to cut the top off of these so it's easier. And you take your two packets of unflavored gelatin and pour them in there. Okay. Then you take your jello and you pour all of it in there. And then you want to go ahead and mix that up. Really good, you, like no lumps or clumps or anything. And um, so we move to the stove, and we need to turn it on medium low heat. So that's about like four to five. There. Then stir it every minute or two to keep it from burning. How long do you leave it on here? Five to ten. Minutes. You leave it on the stove for five to ten minutes. You want to stir it every minute or two to keep it from burning. I'm just going to stir it the whole time. That way it doesn't burn. So, we'll see you in a second, guys. And we're back, guys. Um, We just got done stirring it for like 10 minutes, and we're going to pour it all into this bottle, so we'll be right back in a second. And we're back, guys. We put it in this little tube to make it easier, so... This stuff is extremely hot. It can fail through the tube. So be careful if you don't have one of these. So we're going to go ahead and pour it in here. This stuff is extremely hot, guys. 
And whenever you fill it up, fill it up a little bit of the top. So, because whenever it cools, it'll shrink a little bit. So, just a tiny bit over the top. There we go, there's one. Now we're gonna do some of these red ones. This one. I think this is going to be the last one for blue. Whoa! Pop. Okay. Um. I wonder what's going to happen to that one. <laughs> Alright, so, um. Should we do some more colors? So we're gonna do some more colors. We'll be right back in a second. After doing all the colors, and we put them in glasses because you notice how all the foam is on them. We tried peeling it off on these ones over here. Didn't work too well. So we put them in the glass, then we're gonna take a spatula and stick it in there and like get all the foam off. So. You gotta wait. We had to let them cool for 10 minutes. We had to let them cool for 10 minutes, so. Let's go ahead and do this. So, back you up. Let's go. It's not ready. It's not ready. The foam is not like dry enough. Give me a paper towel or something. Okay. To wipe this off on. Foam's not dry enough or ready yet. Oh, yeah, it is. It's not. On his video, um, it, I know, we may have been a little too soon, but we'll get most of it off. Yeah. All right. So that's that, guys. We got most of the foam off of there. Yeah. Now we'll pour it in our tubes and we'll make some more molds. Uh -huh. We'll see you in a minute. Uh -huh. Guys, um. As you could tell, we um, the putting them in the glasses really did work. See this one, then look at these ones. Much of a difference. So we're gonna put these Lego things on there and see how good they're gonna do. I'm gonna need to move this a little bit. Okay. So this one is for this one right here. So we're gonna pick this up as vegetable oil all over the top. And we flip it upside down and put it on top of. Oh, oopsies! And we put it on top of there. Then we put a heavy book on there. Okay. And I'm gonna take this one. And we're gonna put this one on top. This one is much, much bigger. Whoa! So we take this, put this on top, let's put these two books on here. So, um. You gotta let them cool for at least. You have to let them cool for at least five hours. So, see you tomorrow, guys. Yes, I came here and we're back the gummy bear video. It's been a few days, we've let them dry out. If you put the lid on them and put them in the fridge, they could stay good for up to a month. So, um, we have all these gummies and these ones we haven't melted down yet. And, um, the King of Random made his own silicone mold and our lego thing at the bottom didn't work so well and besides i don't think these are real accurate accurate to the to the real legos because they're a little bit big and stuff they don't even say lego on the top in this video they said lego on the top but okay. what is it that you found did work correctly 
letting the bubbles skim off the top? Yes. Making sure the bubbles uh -huh. skim? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if not, you get all the little bubbles on top. Um, and the, you know this one right here? The one that we tried to take the bubbles off? It looks weird. Look at that. And, um, gummy guys? They're balanced enough to stand up on their own? Kind of. They bend over a little bit, but they could stand up on their own. This giant gummy guy, he just falls straight down. <laughs> okay, um, then we have these curved pieces that we use for the small ones. Yeah, the bottom didn't work out so well. They're not even connectable. So, that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. Are they good? Yeah, tastes good. And, yeah, we're going to melt these down in, like, another video or something, maybe. We don't know. Um, so, see you next time, guys. Peace!